Cheers, hello everyone, welcome back. This video was not supposed to be, I was not supposed to do this video in a few days because I was, I was like, I need some break from YouTube and all of that. And it's my birthday and everything. Yes, I'm 35. I feel like Carrie Bradshaw. I'm 35. Ugh. Anyway, um, yeah, let's talk about the, what, according to the Eurovision Reactive fandom, is the front runner for Poland's national selection, which is just Justina Steszkowska with the song which, uh, Hero Toro, which she performed live during New Year's Eve. And this has, song has become, and it's also ironic that I was requested to talk about this song like a month ago and now I see all of you other all of, all of you other reactors doing the song I was like um did you do this because I did it I don't know I want to toot my own horn sometimes woohoo anyway this is the front runner but we might have some drama already in the Poland's national selection and it includes the one of the former German members from last year who might have sabotaged Jan Jan Gladiator guy. Let's see first Justinas Justinas and then I talk. I might have some tea. Okay. I mean I kinda save I don't know if this is live vocals or not, but if this is live vocals, girl you can sing the you can sing so good. Wait. I'm gonna have some Sorry. Uh, let's see her. Let's go. I'm just preparing the tea here. I mean, my point of view for this song has always been that she should be like a witch queen, you know? And to me, she should... She 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 should do a little bit of army of lovers style like Camilla he Camilla he and Mike did when they tried to do a comeback in Melfest ten years ago that flopped. That she should be on the throne with a crown, and then she should be like the witch and sings with the stare with the eyes. I don't know if a dance performance is gonna be the best thing to sell the song. I don't know. I don't know. I want to have story. I want to give, give her the like the dark queen from Narnia, like the Snow Queen, but twisted and dark. I think that would make more cool. Oops. Okay. This gives. I gotta say, this gives me Romania back in 20, 2013 with the tenor, Cesar. It's too dark. I don't know who staged this. I mean, I mean, I mean, since this is the fan favorite to actually represent Poland, which you don't still don't know. This is too dark for me. I want... No, this is the wrong stage color. Sabotage. I don't know. Is it me or is the camera work terrible? They don't do her justice at all. She's gorgeous, but the camera work is terrible. At least she looks amazing. Okay, girl. She, oh, I don't know. Oh God, I think I smudged. Yeah, I smudged my glasses. The thing is that they, she's doing too much for this song. I mean, I'm gonna say this song 
on a studio track is amazing, but I mean, I feel like, girl, you did too much with the staging because she's trying to do so, so much in this performance. And I was like, you can do half of that, half of this performance, and it will still, still be amazing. She, they are doing so much to sell the song, and I feel like they did too much. I mean, no offense to Justina Steskowska, whoever choreographed this, choreographed this, or staged this. This is terrible. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the staging at all. I mean, if this would be the, if this would be the staging for Eurovision, I'm gonna say change everything. I'm not impressed by this. I think this is too much because they are trying to do so, so, so much to sell this song. But to me, I was like, Girl, no, no, I mean, the, I'm, it's still my birthday, so still, hey, this is 2024, and I'm still the honest hoe. Anyway, I mean, to me, they what they should have done, like I said, she should be like the, the, the religious, you know, queen with the crown and the microphone and the stand. And then they have the dancers doing something between, behind her, around her circles and everything. She's trying to do so much to sell this song, and I think she's doing too much. I'm I, I'm in, I'm impressed though how she performs this, but and I don't think it was it was too dark. I need more colors. No, I will fire the choreographer. I will fire the stage director, and the camera work for this one is terrible. I don't know who was behind this the TV monitors in Poland during New Year's Eve, but you did not clearly like her because the camera works for her was terrible. Yes, I don't like this at all. I like the way she was she's the way she was singing though. She sings amazing, but the whole thing. Uh-uh, but we might have some drama for this one because you know what sometimes people send me some tea and I will I remember this that last year last year now we can say last year because people send me some tea about the Poland's national selection and other stuff I was like yes I'm here for it and uh, uh, I'm not gonna name names and everything but I was sent something and we have some chit chat back and forth and he this person said I hate Polish TV because yesterday said that Justina submitted her song for pre-selection but we don't have the information that that we have pre-selection said so we keep our fingers crossed so this is a song that is heavily considered for fan favorite to represent Eurovision for po Poland for Eurovision but we don't know if she's gonna be admitted or selected to represent in the national selection which is a uh, very surprise because if they're gonna go in off base what the fan wants they want her so we they Poland can actually skip the pre-selections because we have a song that the Eurasia fandom wants and this is this one with another staging though I don't like the staging because um, yeah and I was like why because of course the German member Ed Edita Gorniak hates Justina she was in the year last year she also says she wants to represent Poland again because it was just in a so we might have a diva battle and Michael Spike might want to come back to Eurovision. I was like, okay, so yeah, so this is just speculation. I'm just, uh, I was like, okay, this is speculation. She wrote this in December that she's preparing a three minute song. It, I guess, Edita did. I was like, oh, this is some tea. So, and uh, I was like, okay. So will I was I asked back will Edita block this in for competing if the pre-selections and Edita Gurinak will be on the panel it may be interesting so we don't know if if Justina might get blocked to might get you know put to the side so she will not compete because there's a German member that hates her 
and we have some more insight here. This is fascinating. I mean, this is just December. This is January 1st. We have already team. Let's watch why. Justina Steskovska dispute with Edita Gorniak. The conflict between Edita Gorniak and Justina Steskovska has been going on for many years. The two singers allegedly correlated in 20, 30, 13 years ago. Get over it. Uh, when they released the dates of the new album conceded. Since then, the artist has been lashing out at each other and accusing each other from time to time. The opportunity to burn the hatches that was supposed to be the singer performed in the new TVP music show in Seskowska and Gurnia was supposed to meet last month on the set of the program. Unfortunately, at the last minute, I don't know what the rest of this said, but uh, clearly we have some drama. And it's very fascinating that uh, Edita Gorniak again is on the German member and again will cause some drama and I was like ooh you give me the tea boo and I got the message back Edita will cry if you know, will represent Poland and I was like okay um, yeah I don't know what Poland is, is doing but apparently we have some drama and some some people on this German member who, are, who is apparently snowflakes that can handle that the fact that the one of the frontrunners from the fandom is Justina Stavskovska and she hates her and so we'll I'm reading this and if Justina Stavskovska is not on the list on the sing songs that will in the representation for Poland's national selection we know that there is some allegedly sabotage because if if Poland is smart Watching all the reactors, everyone wants this song for Poland. For Poland, this is the song for Poland to send if you watch all the reactors because everyone says the same thing. This is the best. Poland will win this. But if there is a German member, German member who is a, apparently a big snowflake who has been allegedly angry at this person for 13 years, snowflake, we might have some drama and it might we have some tea. But I'm here for it. So at the moment, it is just it is just allegedly some drama. But you know what? We have some tea, and I'm so here for it. Anyway, Eurovision season 2024 is starting off strong, y'all. But anyway, that's that's the tea. Uh, and again, what do I think about Justina Seskovska's performance? Um, I don't like this. Uh, they overdid this performance. They overdid this performance way too much for me she should focus on uh, being a wicked witch from narnia focus on the vocals she doesn't need to do the the chanel slow-mo dancing and flipping your hair around and everything it it becomes a little bit too much a little bit too desperate to sell the song she should more focus on the vocals and be the wicked witch and have the dancing around her and with another camera works and another stage lighting I would just redo the whole thing if I, if you ask me uh, if, if someone asked me to do go into stage this I would redo the whole thing because this to me is pfft, this to me is not good at all but anyway that's my opinion I feel like Tamara Judge is my opinion so anyway that's the start for 2024 we have some drama we have some tea we have seen the first live performance of this performance and yeah we have some work to do on this one, I think, if she's going to be in the national selection. We shall see if that happens. But anyway, happy New Year's, everyone. Mwah.